Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to install VMware on your computer. VMware will give you access to the ARC servers as well as all the programs installed on those servers to use on your computer at home. First, you need to navigate to the American River College online resources page. You can do this by typing this into your web browser, but we'll also leave a link to this page in the description below. Depending on the kind of computer you have, there are three different options. For this video, we're just going to do the Windows PC configuration. Go ahead and click on the link under number one in the quick start guide. This will take you to the VMware software install page. Click the link on the left, and on the next page, the most recent download will be at the top. Click go to downloads, then click download now. Once you click save file, your download will begin. Once your download is finished, you can access it up here in the corner of your browser by double-clicking the file and it will run the installer. If you need help running the installer, you can always refer back to the Quick Start Guide. Once the VMware software is installed, navigate back to the Quick Start Guide and copy the link under number 9. Now we need to open the VMware software. Click New Server and paste the link in this box. You'll be prompted to log in with your W number and password. And now it will let you select from a number of different servers. Select the server that you want, and the VMware software will begin. You'll notice at the top of the screen you have a toolbar. This bar can be dragged left and right, or you can change its visibility by using the pin or unpin button on the left hand side. You can also use this toolbar to collapse the window for the VMware software. This way you can access your computer and the VMware software simultaneously in separate windows. And last, you can minimize the application using this toolbar. This allows you to go back to your computer at any time. Before you're finished, be sure to back up your files to a USB drive or to your computer. VMware automatically deletes all files when you sign out of your account. We hope this video was helpful. Now you should be able to access programs remotely using your PC at home through the VMware software.